Hi everyone, welcome back to Hanson Never Done Farms. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous Wednesday early afternoon. It is October 2nd and I'm up here in the younger boys breeding pens. We've got uh, Titan in with his five girls and we've got Gobi out here with his five girls. I have a little bit of a concern, you guys. Uh, let me flip you guys around. <clears throat> you guys know that Titan has not had any problems breeding his girls. But um, I'm a little little concerned with Mr. Gobi. He, uh, he has his five girls. And as of yesterday, nobody had been in heat. Um, came up this morning and I notice uh, Maggie is in heat and I do believe Cappuccino is in heat and poor Gobi doesn't know what to do um, he has sniffed on him he's been interested but that's as far as his interest has went um, he hasn't acted Bucky, hasn't tried to mount them. Now, we got to give him a little bit of a caveat. He was just born in April, so he is a younger buck. Um, he is a month younger than Titan. Um, Titan is, <clears throat> Titan is, although he's only a month older, he is a little bit more aggressive than Gobi is. So I, uh, I've, I've busied myself in the house so I'm not up here fretting and worrying because I really I don't need to. I do think he will eventually come into his own. I just don't think it will be I just don't know. I mean if she stays in heat for a few days, he may, uh, he might come around, um, but I'm, I'm thinking it probably would be her next heat cycle, um, where he's going to maybe, uh, just needs that extra two or three weeks of, of maturity of growth. It actually does, um, mean a lot. <clears throat> on the younger bucks. Um, I am glad to see that she's not aggressive with him. She has, I have seen from the house where she has followed him around and uh, nudged him here and there trying to get him to be interested. And like I said, while he'll sniff her, he just moves on. So do I think he's a dud? No, I don't have evidence to prove that yet. Um, he's obviously got the parts that he needs. He might just be a slow starter. I had hoped to have all my kidding wrapped up by the end of March. Um, we'll see if that happens. Like I said, we may have to wait for their next heat cycle and, uh, see how that works out for them, but... <clears throat> was not expecting Gobi to <clears throat> I take that back you guys I take that back from the very beginning I noticed that Gobi wasn't as interested in the ladies as um, both Cash and even Titan was um, he would go over and he would sniff them but the snorting and the spitting and the wetting on himself he hasn't done that yet so I should have been a little bit more prepared, I guess, for it. Um, if we get a few kids later, um, I guess that's not going to be a big deal. I really don't want to change up um, my breedings, but if I don't see some serious um, behavior 
either at the end of of because you know there's five girls here and so truly within the next week they all should be in heat so I will give him another three three to four weeks and if I don't see that behavior then he's going to have to wait till next year because I will put um, these girls I'll split them between um, Titan and Cash and let everybody just get bred so <clears throat> just a just a quick little update for you I have been busy in the house um, Teresa from Twinbridge Farms gifted us a couple bags of apples from their trees and I have been making applesauce this morning and just got it out of the canner and I'm just super super excited got 11 pints which may not seem like a lot but for us that's just a few more things we can put on the shelf and and shut the door on and not have to purchase at the store Jeff and I do we're getting older we like <laughs> we like applesauce with our pork chops so anyways that I think is going to do it for me guys on this very 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 short video um, there's not been any more breedings since our last um, visit I'm expecting Kalani and Ellie to come into heat any day and then in um, Titan's pen we have Catch Me and Calamity are the only two left in there um, unless anybody didn't take and, and will be rebred. But in Titan's or in Gobi's pen it's all of them. They all are uh, currently not bred. So anyways also just uh, remember all of those affected by Hurricane Helene. It is, it is cat catastrophic. You guys have absolutely been watching um, the videos and the testimonies coming out from our Americans. Um, the loss, the devastation is heart-wrenching. So uh, help where you can. Anyways, give us a like, subscribe, ring that notification, guys. We will catch you on the next one.